Nathaniel. Good folks, we got a double video today. We're going to be doing this vlog and the life lessons. So I'm going to be doing a lot of filming, a lot of editing today. I'm going to close that. Make sure no monsters get out. So for the vlog, we're going to do some gameplay footage. Um, got a little review, which I'll probably just do in a couple seconds here. And uh, yeah, I want to talk about some video game movies too, because I was thinking about something earlier. But either way, so for the movie review, yesterday, I watched a movie called Headshot. Now, if you're a fan of, like, just really dope action movies, uh, you probably would like this one. Um, it stars the same guy from The Raid. I don't even want to try and pronounce his name, because I know I'll butcher it. Um, Raid 1 and 2, he was in it, he played uh, Rama. Um, but either way, the Raid movies, those were fucking, those were dope. Those were one of those movies where it was, like, the fight scenes... It's too good. Anyway, like headshot. Um, it's almost like the same thing. Um, he get, this guy gets into an accident. Like he's he gets shot in like the side of his head, basically. So he's in a coma and everything. And this nurse that's taking care of nobody knows his name either. So she gives she gives him the name Ishmael because she was reading like Moby Dick and everything. Um, and yeah, just like. Through certain things happening, he starts, like, gaining his memory back and, like, remembering, like, who he is and how much of a badass he can be. Yeah, it's kind of one of those, um, kind of one of those things where he's, like, he's enjoying this, like, new kind of life and everything that he's, like, found for himself. But he's starting to, like, remember, uh, like, who he used to be, what he used to be a part of. And that's all, like, starting to come back and, like, haunt him and everything. Especially when his old crime boss says, well... Just kidnap the nurse then. We'll we'll get him like that. And it starts a whole other chain of events for him. Um, so, I definitely recommend it. It's called Headshot. It's also done by the director of Killers. Really, really good movie. Um, but, I will warn you now. Netflix will mess with you. Definitely make sure you have your English subtitles on. Uh, it's an Indonesian movie. Uh, for some reason, Netflix has it in like Indonesian, German, Spanish, French. No English audio. So... You gotta do English subtitles, folks. Yeah, that's about it, I guess. Alright, hadn't really talked about the uh, daughter's grad. Well, it did, but the footage got fucked. But, um, yeah, it was awesome. You know what I mean? uh, my oldest just graduated grade 8. Uh, it was a proud moment, you know what I mean? Like, I was super proud. Uh, when they called her, when they like said her name to get her like diploma certificate thing from grade 8. Like, I, I don't know, I couldn't even help myself. I was just like, yeah, Moo! <laughs> oh, her nickname has, like, ever since she was born has always been Moo, or Moo Moo. I don't know, it's just it's what happens. She's my little Moo. Um, yeah, honestly, though, uh, she looked beautiful. We went all out for her. She had two different dresses. She had this little gold one for the ceremony, and then, like, a longer, kind of more covering, you know what I mean, a blue dress for the dance. Um... The way I described that made it sound like the gold dress was, like, super revealing. Obviously, it wasn't, though. I would never let my fucking kid dress, like, all revealing and shit. Uh, but either way, uh, yeah, we went all out for her. She had two different dresses. She had her hair done. Uh, she doesn't wear a lot of makeup. She wore some nice, like, lipstick and everything. Um, yeah, she looked fucking beautiful. I was, I was a proud daddy, you know what I mean? Uh, there was some weird things going on, though. Uh, the slideshow kept, like freezing and like the songs would like cut out for like 10 seconds and then like the next song that they had planned would start I was just it kind of like ruined the momentum and kind of like the the mood you know what I mean um it was hot as fuck too because this uh this community church had uh I guess donated or offered their like sir like their room so they could do like the graduation in because that was like the stage and the church pews or whatever hey 
get some AC though, huh? And maybe some com more comfortable benches. Like, I don't know why in every church it's like the benches are uncomfortable as fuck. Like, did Jesus and God be like, okay, I want you to build this dope-ass church for me, you know what I mean? We'll do some nice different colored bricks on the outside, maybe some red leading into more natural look. On the inside, I want a nice dark carpet nice dark gray you know what i mean nothing too depressing nothing too like whatever just nice dark gray the benches don't want anybody to be comfortable they gotta be uncomfortable as fuck do we still have that cross that i was on just grab that we'll make some benches like damn can we get some fucking cushions on the back of it or anything like oh it was so hot like it was that hot where you like sit up from the seat and your shirt like sticks to it and you just feel that bead of sweat, like, Rambo its way down your spine. It's like, oh my god. I thought I had the devil up in me. And probably the weirdest thing that happened, this lady got up, she was taking a picture of her kid, or, I don't know, maybe her niece, nephew, whatever. No other part of her, like, wardrobe was messed with or anything. But her underwear fell. She was taking a picture, and the underwear just hit the floor. Hit the floor. And it's not like she wasn't wearing like no decorative one, you know what I mean? Like where it's like lace or animal print or fucking whatever. It was what you would dub as the granny panties. And this lady didn't even try and rustle them back up, try and catch them on the way down, nothing. Like she just kicked them up over her shoe, grabbed them in her hand, and just went back to her seat. Like, oh man. I don't know. Either way. Super proud my daughter graduated grade 8 and everything. She's off to grade 9, high school next year. And I'm excited. She's not involved with half the shit that I was when I was a kid, so I think she'll be alright. Alright, just got a nice little surprise package in the mail, so we're going to open it up. See what's inside. Oh, shit, folks. Bam, to go with the T-1000, the Tech Noir. Ah, oh, look at that. Accessories, accessories, accessories. Oh, I know how he's going to be all set up already. I smell an unboxing for Saturday, good folks. All right, <clears throat> we're going to get into some Evil Within. I haven't played this in a while, so I don't remember all the controls. already creeped out. Hold L1 while melee attacking with triangle. You continue to attack ahead of you instead of stomping any enemies at your feet. Okay. See that creepy guy in the elevator there? No bueno. You coming up, baby? Oh, you gotta sit right there? <laughs> Hi. Hi. Okay. I'm in a creepy hospital. I got a crossbow. Yeah, let me get my bearings here. L1. You know what? Hold on. Alright. We got this. Oh, goodness. What's my objective? Do I have any? Oh, these journal entries I keep finding. I think my name, I'm pretty sure my name is Sebastian. Hold on. After witnessing the slaughter of fellow officers, Sebastian is ambushed and knocked unconscious. When he awakens, he finds himself in a deranged world where hideous creatures wander among the dead. Facing unimaginable terror and fighting for survival, Sebastian embarks on a frightening journey to unravel what's behind this evil force. Oh, good, I have a flashlight. That may or may not be a good thing. Oh, someone can see me. That little eye that pops up. Oh, no. Oh, oh! Oh, goodness. See? You get these weird-ass things coming at you. 
rip my face off. Put it that way. Can I get under? Okay, so I can get under here. I feel like I'm supposed to go that way though. Fuck. Man, this game's so creepy. I can hear things like growling and shit behind me. What was that? Oh, God! Oh, it's a rat. <laughs> I saw a creepy baby in the corner, and then this rat pops out of nowhere. Goodness gracious. So I'm guessing there's nothing in this room for me. creepy room, I guess. But like, oh man, I don't even know where that fucking weird creature is. It's a thing, and he saw me like right away. He's got to be in this room somewhere. Okay, let's do it like this. And if he comes out of here, I can just fucking shoot him. Yep, there he is. Where are you? Oh, what the? Left stick, left stick. Oh, he disappears. No bueno. beat him now. It's the thing about invisibility. It only lasts for so long. I'll figure you out. Kick open the door like everyone on the ground. Pants down. Of it that I just I super don't want to deal with. Okay, we're gonna try and use the uh, freeze thing on him. Especially now that I know how to pick up his trail. Did that. Man, I'm at like super low health. Ah, I'm never gonna get past this part. I feel like I'm just like, I'm at super low health and it's no bueno. This gameplay footage is gonna be me trying to conquer this fucking tentacle face fuck. in front of me. Season. 
Oh, I got him! Oh, I fucking got him! That's how that's done, folks. I didn't even get scared. Like, what? I feel like I hear another one in the room. Oh, I definitely do. the outcome I was hoping for on that. Fuck. I only have the one arrow left now. This is not bueno, folks. Not bueno. Let's see if there's anything in that cabinet. Oh, why are you gonna move around? Oh, bullets. One bullet. For a gun, I don't even have that thing. Fuck. <laughs> oh, somebody sees me. fight that one. He just came in and fucked me up. Man, this game is so challenging. <sighs> yeah, if you're into games that'll creep you out and games that'll definitely challenge you, like, Evil Within. It's a good one. We're giving this one more go. If it doesn't work out, that's it. God damn. Not all gameplay footage is gonna be me fucking killing orcs and shit. Sometimes I'm the one getting my face stomped. A fucking flare. See, like the problem is with the crossbow, it gives you like the f like the path of the arrow, so you can kind of like tell where he is. why I'm supposed to burn these bodies. See, now if I can figure out how to, you know, get a little bit more health, that'd be cool. No, nope, not like that. Oh! So that's, well, that's good. I'm glad I figured that out. <sighs> can I even make any of the bolts? Doesn't seem like I can. Well, what do I have left? Okay, 
I still got the freeze one, so at least that should help a little bit. I really wish there was health or something in here, though. carts and dark rooms just I don't like it one bullet I'll take it oh I have an idea I already messed that up can I move this bed this against the door mm -hmm. oh folks I got him on this one. Oh no it hit the fucking bed away from it that's not good something and I'm scared to turn around. Ah! Bam. Okay. I accidentally wasted the one arrow so that's no boy now. Come on. Come out of the door. Flash the light out. Yeah. Oh, he's gonna fucking pop out at me or some shit, isn't he? See, I can see that little eyeball. It's saying he can still see me. he was. This isn't good. No, no, no. Come on. Let me just regenerate health up to that little line. too early here. Oh! I fucking got him, folks. so difficult. Do I still need a key card for this elevator? Yeah. So rude. Oh, okay. Now let's get through here. Hopefully there's health or something somewhere. I can hear another one breathing and stuff. I don't like that. Super don't like this. Oof. Anything on the board to look at? No. Oh, jeez, Louise. Oh, let me just. 
just hide under the table or something. Man, one of the first levels, you, you have to hide in a locker from a dude like chasing you around with a chainsaw and everything. Oh, it's terrifying. Okay, no health or anything around here. See, like I can hear him breathing. I don't like that. Like, I don't know. Oh, cool. Now I'm in a dark room. And I'm pretty sure there's going to be something in here with me. See? Dead body over there? I don't like that. What's this? Ooh, bullets. More brain points for upgrades. I have to burn him. I'm not taking no chances. Hospital key card. Oh, we can take the elevator now. Shit's getting real, folks. Oh, see? Health. Bueno. Oh, fucking. Just in case. I don't trust it. See, now I gotta figure out how I can take some of this health. Uh, use. Bam. Oh, health shot up, didn't it? Okay, now let's get back to the elevator as fast as we can here. We're gonna sprint. Ah! Yeah. Oh, I'm out of stamina. I'm out of stamina. Oh, something sees me. I knew there was another one. safer than following him see there's a brain thing in there I think I broke it or maybe it just doesn't let me take it there we go why do I have a feeling there's probably something I missed in those closets now or those cabinets I should say Creepy basement stairs. It's gonna suck. some things it's like checkpoints and saves but you know that's that's just cause like something bad is gonna happen oh there's bricks messing out of each wall Scripture things. See, more doors are popping up. I don't. 
That looks like the room I'm in right now, like, in the weird, creepy hotel. Fuck. That's gonna suck. Alright, before we end the vlog, I wanted to talk about video game movies. I don't know, just something we, I don't think we've ever talked about. Um, and one that doesn't actually get enough credit, probably... If, to my memory, uh, one of the like one of the first like video game movies to be done was Double Dragon. Um, Mark DeCosco, Scott Bayo, I think that was his name anyway. Maybe wrong on that one. Whatever. Um, but yeah, like I remember watching that all the time when I was a kid, uh, and I, I loved it. Honestly, it might not might not be one of those ones that like holds up perfectly today, but it's one of those ones I can go back and watch, and I like I still enjoy it. You know what I mean? Um, and as far as, like, video game movies go, like, Double Dragon is never brought up. Uh, so I threw it out to y'all. I wanted to see what, like, which ones you could remember. Uh, and if I've seen that movie, then I'll give some thoughts, maybe. Okay, we got Super Mario Bros., the one with Bob Hoskins, uh, John Leguizamo, I believe Dennis Hopper was in it as well. Pretty sure he was, anyway. Either way. Not a great one, to be honest. <laughs> I remember even as a kid, like, this was one of the first movies where I, like, watched it. I was like, man, they messed up. The fuck? Like, I don't know. It's just not, not one of the best interpretations of, like, a video game movie, I guess you could say. Street Fighter. One, I love the Street Fighter games. Two, I actually did like this movie, to be honest. Uh, I, I was a huge Jean-Claude Van Damme fan, like, growing up and everything, so... Uh, it was kind of hard not to like it, you know, especially with his hardcore fucking, you know, French accent as, like, guile or whatever. But no, I actually, I, I liked it. I actually, um, I also have another one. It's called Street Fighter uh, Legend of Chun-Li that was done, like, more recently. And that was actually, that was a pretty good one, too. Uh, but this one, I definitely remember. And, I don't know, there's that, like, if I remember correctly, there was almost, like, that weird emotional scene with, like, Blanca. So, I don't know. Maybe I gotta revisit it. Maybe the, maybe I'll appreciate it a little bit more. Who knows? Resident Evil. I remember like watching this first one, and I to this day I wish they would have gone like more with like the video game theme. You know what I mean? Like I don't know. I just I th I think it would have been a lot cooler. Like uh, you know the first game on PlayStation One. You go to this like this mansion and everything, and fucking. You don't know what's in there, what's inside waiting for you in a way. Um, yeah, I don't know. To this day, I just, if they if they ever reboot the Resident Evil uh, movie series, uh, I think it should be done like more kind of like true to the games in a way. But that's just me. Doom with Dwayne the Rock Johnson. And didn't they put one part in here where they like put it all computer graphics or some shit, or at least game graphics, and made it all like first person? I wasn't down for that. Silent Hill. Uh, I remember like the first one that came out. Like, I want to say I was a teenager. Maybe I was younger. I don't know. I don't know. I don't remember specifically. Either way, um, I I can't even remember like any of the other Silent Hill. Cause like some movies I see, and somebody will tell me that's a Silent Hill movie, and then, like I didn't even know that. So it just it gets confusing. So. Uh, I don't know. It'd, ha it'd have to be one of those ones I revisit. Need for Speed? I can tell you right away, I didn't see this one. Uh, I probably saw the poster and was like, cool. Not, don't need to see this one. You know, just more racing. Warcraft. I actually haven't seen this movie, but I wanted to. Cause the only reason I wanted to, I'm not even a fan of like World of Warcraft. I've never played it for like PC or anything. Um, I like I like Lord of the Rings and everything. I like the whole orc idea and all that like that was just that was cool to me so haven't seen it but i might tomb raider even as a kid i don't know i'm not a i'm not an angelina jolie fan uh i don't know i was a huge fan of the tomb raider games i just don't think she was i don't know she just didn't have this badass like quality as Lara croft you know what i mean like i don't know it was it was angelina jolie being who she is in every movie basically um apparently they are rebooting them they're like they're filming it right now um, and apparently this one's gonna, like, supposed to be, like, better than those ones, so, again, if they stick kind of more, like, kind of, like, true to the game and not go for, like, oh, we need big stars in this and, like, a big name in it, then, uh, they might do it right. Assassin's Creed. Apparently it's not as trash as everybody says it is. Um, 
I don't know. I haven't seen it. Uh, I'm. They lost me with the games, to be honest with you. I liked the original, like, the first one with Altair, um, Assassin's Creed 2, and then Assassin's Creed Revelations. Basically, like, the Altair and Ezio story, like, those, to me, those are, like, I don't know. As far as Assassin's Creed goes, like, those are, like, the fucking, the best ones for me. Because then after that, it gets, like, oh, this person's related by, like, six generations to fucking th that person. And it's just... I don't know. They lost me with the games. But the movie, apparently, like, I've heard mixed reviews and everything. So, I don't know. Obviously going to give it a shot because I'm a huge fan of the games. We'll see how Michael Fassbender does. And I don't even know if it's, like, Altair and Ezio kind of thing. For all I know, they could be doing their own thing. So, I don't know. When I first heard about the Assassin's Creed movie, uh, I thought they were going to be doing, like, the Ezio story or something. So, I'll give it a shot. We'll see what happens. And with that, we end today's vlog, good folks. We had gameplay, we got a surprise figure, a movie review, video game movies. God damn, extravaganza. Mucho love, hooligans. Thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing, watching the vlog. Comment below. I might not reply, but I do read them all. I promise you that. Let's roll that outro.